The former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has voiced concern over what he perceives as a lack of leadership in Nigeria, attributing it to the absence of President Bola Tinubu and his deputy Kasim Shetima. Atiku expressed his dismay at the absence of the nation's top leaders during time of significant challenges in a statement shared via a social media platform on Monday. Atiku highlighted the unusual nature of both the president and the vice president being out of the country, just like that. Two of them just work out like that. He questioned who was currently steering the ship of the states and pondered whether uh, Nigeria was essentially operating on autopilot in their absence. The absence of key leadership figures comes at a crucial junction for Nigeria with pressing issues requiring attention and decisive action. Articles remarks underscores the importance of effective governance and the need for leaders to be present and actively engaged during times of crisis. In addition, to his concerns about leadership vacuum. Atiku also called for the release of journalist Daniel Hojuku, who has been detained by the police since May 1st. Hojuku associated with the Foundation for Journal uh, Investigative Journalism, FIJ, was reportedly taken into custody under contention circumstances in Lagos. Journalist family and colleagues we were initially unaware of his whereabouts. Adding to the alarm surrounding his detention, reports indicate that Juku's electronic device were classificated and he was denied communication with loved ones. The situation escalated when human rights lawyer OK disclosed that Juku had been transferred to Abuja. The police public relations officer Okay, my wah, Adejobi, cited alleged violations of the Cybercrime Prohibition Act 2015 as basis for Ujuku's arrest. Atiku condemned Ujuku's detention as an affront to press freedom, particularly in the aftermath of World Press Freedom Day. He linked the journalist's arrest to his involvement in investigative reporting which has shed light on sensitive issues within the government. Referencing previous instances of journalists facing persecution, Atiku emphasized the importance of upholding the constitutional rights to free press. He urged authorities to release Ojuku and respect the fundamental principles of journalism and part particularly in a democratic society. Article statement reflects border concerns about governance and press freedom in Nigeria, highlighting the need for accountability and respect for democratic principles. Hmm. That one should just be a uh, talk for another day. You get uh, that one should just be talk for another day because. Uh, this issue of uh, freedom for journalism in Nigeria, that one has become a thing of the past. People are afraid to speak. Even those opposition who speaks, I'm not even talking about journalists now because those people, yeah, those, those ones we say, they, in fact, they can just speak you at any time, do you whatever they want to do you. And they say, we did democracy, people not feel talk. Why this thing they funny, where, where is that? The same people who came to you know, power, you know, when they criticize, they protest and all that, they don't want to hear any criticism. They don't want to hear anybody tell them, say, ah, this thing you are doing, not be like that, it's supposed to be, and everything, they don't want to hear. Now, this one, now, it make me understand, say, you see people, when they, they say, they do this person, do this person, do this, do this, ah, 
If you reach their tongue, they go not, they not go like make you do them sing. Why is it that APC government is just after these journalists? Why? Every little thing, bam, they don't pick you because they don't want people to hear the truth. They don't want hear people to know what is going on. So anybody who tries to speak the truth or tell them, say, see, what they happen or see this thing or bring out one secret, they don't come after you. Nigerians who have reacted to this have joined the article to say, release this one. You don't do. Enough is enough. Nigeria is practicing democracy if you allow it to be like that. This dictatorship, we are tired. Allow people to speak. He got one thing when they didn't do it. That one said, we would tire me when we're not safe. If somebody criticized them, maybe say the opposition, uh, uh, the opposition party, if he criticized them, they go tell you, say, you they talk about this one. During your time, you not do one like that. You not do something like this, something like that. So that means they actually know the truth. So if I do one like that in my time, I come find and say, that thing, it not make sense. Can't I come out to say, no, make we not do one like that. And you say, make everybody bring head together so that they can push the country forward. But when they try to suggest, you say, no. Why are you talking? Do we really want to grow? I don't understand. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.